Guys, Ted Walters here. Welcome to my studio down at Truford Golf Center here in Warrington. Today's video is in response to a comment on an Instagram post that I made from Neil.efc. Neil is commenting that he catches the ground first um, and he wants to know should he descend the club steeper so that he gets the ball before the ground. So today's video is looking at a couple of the reasons why you would hit the ground before the ball and then also a couple of drills that you can practice which will help you get that lovely ball turf contact. So let's go and have a look. Right, so what would happen if we were to make a steeper angle of attack into impact? So if I was to go this way for a second, Neil, taking the setup position, so we'd look at the angle that the shaft is on, um, and we want to make a, a swing, a circular swing around the body as we're coming through here. So that's why we would have this, and there's a lot of talk about feeling of shallow in the club as it comes around, so it's not doing this, it's more on this angle, which is not a million miles away from where we start. So if you were to feel like you wanted to steepen that angle to come into impact, then we're really gonna dig downwards. And even if you turn out of the way, you can still dig down and hit the ground first. But also what you then do is you change the direction that the club is gonna move on. You bring into the equation then the fact that we've gotta get, if we're gonna keep the angle the same, we can get into the heel here. Uh, to try and normally get then more impact on, you would have this effect of trying to raise the handle and try and almost help the club up so that the ball gets pushed in the sort of target-ish direction. You try and get a little bit more functional, um, which can then increase the chances of you hitting the ground depending on how good your body movement is and your rotation and the downswing. So we definitely don't want to get steep. So we'd look at the two general things that I see when people are hitting the ground. Um, one would be that in the downswing, they don't move the pressure efficiently enough forward for the club then to bottom out forward of the golf ball. The pressure will stay back generally and the club then will find the ground too soon. The other really common one I see is they're trying to help it into the air, trying to scoop it, trying to get under it. We can't get under the golf ball simply because earth's in the way, it's impossible. The ball is sat on the earth, earth is in the way, we can't get right underneath the golf ball. That's why the golf club has loft on the club face. The angle of the face will determine its movement upwards relative to your movement of the club into the impact. So if we try and get underneath it and we get this angle happening here, then the only thing that's gonna happen is the club's gonna reach the ground too soon. So we get the impact into the ground. Sometimes you get away with it and the club doesn't hit the ground, but then we get the thins and the tops. And every now and again, you might get some okay contact and you just pick it clean off the ground. So two drills that we can have a look at that will help us. The first one would in involve you using a piece of chalk. Just draw a chalk line on the ground. I'm gonna draw one there because I'm gonna hit a golf ball out in that direction in a second. I'm now gonna draw one in line with the camera there. So we're gonna draw that chalk line in place. And the idea from this movement is we want the golf ball to be impacted before the club hits the ground. So if you were hitting shots this way, then that's where you'd have the ball. There's your chalk line, there's the golf ball. So you want to get the club to just collect the ball, push it in the air with the angle of the face, and the club would enter the ground here. It would exit here if you were hitting it off grass, so you'd have your divot. So the lowest point, the low point of the swing would be in between where the club enters and exits the ground. So if we were to make a practice swing in this manner, we'd have the club face a couple of inches behind the chalk line, because remember we're gonna got golf balls gonna be in there in a second. And then we just wanna make a swing and we want the club to hit the chalk line. That's, that's the goal, that's the task. So let's make a swing, turn, and then the club hits the chalk line. You get some chalk dust on the bottom, you see the chalk dust pop up into the air. Then what you would do is bring your ball in and you place it there. So you can see the club's a couple of inches behind that line. I'm gonna do it on this line here and I'm gonna hit the shot. So I'm gonna take my setter position and I'm gonna make the same swing. I'm not thinking about the ball, I'm just thinking about club interacting with the ground on that chalk line. And there we go. So chalk line 
taken chalk dust on the club face. Let's just have another one. I'm just going to move it onto that top edge of the line there. So all you have to do is make your swing. Feel like you're turning your body out of the way with the club hitting the line. That's the only task from this. There we go. So again, nice contact, chalk dust. You end up with your chalk dust on the bottom of the club. Drill number two involves a towel. Depending on how big your towel is, shameless plug, big Mizuno towel. Um, as you can see, my towel is pretty big. Um, so I've got to fold it quite a bit. So if I was to fold my towel a bit, it then becomes quite thick there. So depending on how thick it is, depends on your starting point. If your towel is folded to about maybe a quarter to half an inch thick, place the towel on the ground in there and then get your foot and have yourself a foot's width between the towel and the ball size nine other sizes are optional um, and you'd look at that on the camera and that looks massive you're thinking i'm never going to be hitting the ground at that point you would be surprised at how easy it is so if I was to address, I'm just going to step back here so I don't hit the uh, ball into the side of the bay. But if you're here and you're flicking, look how it is easy to hit the towel. When you see how far behind that is for the club to be flicked in, yeah? Then if we looked at if the pressure stayed too far onto the right side, onto the trail side, how easy it is to hit that far behind the ball. Very easy. So, I'm gonna hit a couple of shots now out in the same direction as before. So, there's the towel, there's the shoe size, there's the ball. Okay, don't hit the towel, plain and simple. So, I'm gonna take my setup. Okay, I've just got my six iron here. Um, so, just get nice and comfortable with your ball position and just think, just you know, try and hit the ball. Just don't think about um, trying to get under it or helping it. Just avoid the towel and hit the ground target side of the golf ball. And there we go. So we missed the towel. Nice and cleanly through. Good impact. Club interacts target side of the golf ball. So we've got two reasons and then two drills that you can practice that can help you to start hitting a golf ball with a much better strike and get away from hitting those fat golf shots. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click it there so YouTube knows that you are enjoying the content. Um, let me know in the comments box below if this is something that you struggle with and you know the reason why you struggle with hitting the ground first, more importantly. And then, if you've tried these videos and you've had a successful outcome, you started to see that more ball turf outcome from there. Post a comment in the box below. Always love to hear your thoughts. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you don't already do so. Just click on the link there. Loads of videos already there. Loads more videos coming too as well. If you have any video ideas, again, post them in the comment box below. Uh, this channel is all aimed at helping as many people as possible play better golf. So if the more people who comment, and let me know what their issues may be or types of shots that they struggle with the more i can tailor a video specifically for you so that it's aimed at helping you play better golf rather than just some of the general videos which are on the channel at the moment so don't forget to post those comments in the box below as always thanks for watching i look forward to seeing you guys again next time